this guy, got a new guy in the group, and he, he wins the US 5K title. Uh, what do you think of Anthony's race? Uh, I think it's re really promising for him. Um, it was good for him to be able to get a race, and he's been with us since the spring and has progressed very well. But, you know, we didn't run track season, so, you know, he hasn't steepled um, this past year, but he will. And, and this this is a good indication of his progression and his fitness. I mean, obviously, he was a star in college. I kind of tried to... People haven't been paying much attention to him recently. He said he was getting his master's. I mean, when you got him back, what kind of fitness was he in? And did you think he... Could get... It took a while. Yeah. It's taken until now. Um, and he's obviously, we had... The good thing with him is, you know, this um, 2019, we didn't have, you didn't race on the track. We didn't have any pressure. Um, we could take our time and progress him. And from where, where his training was in college to where it is now has been a really good progression. And he's built some confidence, obviously, to be able to race with these guys and push the pace. I mean, for them, this is the end of a long, long year. And for him, it's just starting to get focused on 2020. So he said he would go back to the steeple, and you've got two other good steeplers. I mean, how does he compare to them? And You know, I honestly think he's a guy who can medal on the world stage. Um, I think he could, you know, be successful at any event. It just as, you know, as, as we started to train this year, that was one of the questions I had for him. Um, kind of tongue-in-cheek, but um, Anthony, what do you what do you think your best event is? And he just looked at me, steeplechase. It's like, but you could be a great 5K runner, you could be a great 1500 meter runner, um, but I do think he's somebody who can medal on the world stage. So, you know, first need to make the Olympic team, obviously. That's the goal. And then, then we'll go from there. Wow. Um, yeah. A few weeks ago, you coached Leonard to the 206 or 207? Yep, yep. Um, was it 206.55 or 207.55? Yeah. No. Uh, 207.50. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah. So, um, was that the plan all along, or he just decided to do that after the 10,000? Like, that was kind of a surprise to see him on the start line, and then he ran so no, well. No, we, we, uh, we, we planned for it, you know, ahead of Doha, for sure. Um, but still, we're serious about the 10 in Doha. We really wanted to get the, uh, the, the Olympic standard, which he didn't. Um, so, yeah, then the marathon was, you know, was, was second dots after that. Okay. Um, so, he didn't get the standard, you're saying, in Doha 2740, right? No, he didn't. He was 28 minutes, actually. Um, so, what's, the, what's his plan going to be for, 20, for 2020? Well, February is the trials and the marathon, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so he's going to do that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And what about um, Kip Tuchier? Is there any chance he's going to do the marathon? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Not this year, at least. Or not 2020. Yeah. Maybe in the future. He'll be, he'll be on the lead, he'll be on the lead vehicle tomorrow. Okay. So he'll get... He'll get another taste of the marathon, and obviously he helped pace uh, uh, Kipchoge, so, you know, he's been around the marathon, and at some point, probably. Okay, thank you, congratulations. Yeah.